and they could make up any sound they wanted. The sound they had the biggest problem with was the laser pistols. Remember that sound that through there? Well, how do I simulate the laser pistol? Let me tell you how it happened. They were having all kinds of problems coming up with the sound. One day a technician came running in and said, I got it, I got it. They had an antenna out there for a radio tower and had guy wires on it. He took a wrench out and hit the wire. Bam, like that. It was perfect. They went out and recorded it. And that's what the laser pistol sound is. Is somebody hitting a guy wire with a wrench. <laughs> 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 Yes, analog still has its place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, maybe you could give our students some advice and they have a great idea. Um, should they focus on patenting it first or should well, they focus on building a prototype with the 5,000 dollars that they have? I, I think you should work on, your main concentration should be make sure that it works first. Meanwhile, you can be looking at the patents. The other thing you should do is please research the research the, the material around what you're working on. Um, it's very important to know what's going on. You might just not realize it, but someone else out there may just have thought of your idea as well. So you want to find out what what we would call is what other intellectual property is out there that's around what you're doing. Uh, I have at least five patents that were just iterations on someone else's idea, but they were worth a lot because they hadn't thought of that particular aspect. So by studying other people's patents around what you're working on, they give you some additional <coughs> ideas on that. But get it to work first, then you know you've got something worth patenting. You can always get patents, but you know if they don't work, they're not going to be worth very much. And um, you want something that someone really wants. And so I would say do both. Do your homework, make it work, which is important. But meanwhile, keep checking the intellectual property that's related to what you're working on and find out what's new out there. Read the patent abstracts, get hold of them, spend the time going over it. And, um, you know, as I say, I thought I had the market sold up with 40 patents and I was 33,960 30, others that do the same sorts of things. It's just slightly different, but enough to be different. And you think you've got it completely fenced in and then the wake up the next morning and all the animals are on the outside of the fence. <laughs> yes? Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you know there are companies who just don't do engineering at all. They just uh, do patents. And uh, they build up the part four and then they sue other companies to kind of make money on, on their intellectual property. So what do you think about this business model? Uh, to me it seems weird, like, uh, I, don't, I don't really see how they're going to make profit this way because it's really unclear whether they make profitable patents, uh, patents without prototyping. Uh, yeah, my perception is it does not work very well. Um, I've known a lot of inventors who've done a lot of good things like Steve Sass and Kodak. Um, William Greatbatch, who died last year, who was the inventor of the pacemaker, he knew how it worked. 95% of all pacemakers still use William Greatbatch's patents. That's some part of his in there. Um, you look at these people because generally you're driven by a need. When you're driven by the patent, I'm not sure the ideas are worth buying. Um, you know, you find people arguing over patent portfolios. I've been through a number of these things, and a lot of them, what is that all about? So to some extent, it may be a ways to make, see that the lawyers are paid for their, their, their offices. Um, you know, they used to do some of that at Microsoft. Well, you know, come up with some great ideas and we can license them off. I said, if they were that great, I'll do it myself. Why would I pay? do it for you so you can sell it to somebody else? I mean, I'm doing it for the company. I'm not doing it for, you know, so I can help some other company. So I don't think those business models work very well. First of all, I'm not sure the portfolios are worth that much. Because the way you really have good patents is you try to solve a problem. You didn't did try to come up with some crazy idea. I thank you very much for coming.